Hey everybody, this is attorney Adam Tracy. I wanted to talk about uh, the Securities and Exchange Commission's decision last week that came down with respect to the Dow token. Um, and I've fielded 100 calls about this and everybody's ready to jump off a cliff. But what I think is important to notice about is three things. Number one, this finding was very fact specific. This was very, very specific as to this token only. Doesn't universally apply to all ICOs. It doesn't universally apply to all all coins or all tokens. What the SEC was doing was looking at the particular facts that surrounded this token and how that ICO worked. And they applied those facts in making their decision. Number two, what the what the opinion didn't say, which is very, very important, is that all cryptocurrency or all ICOs are in fact securities and subject to the US securities laws. They're not. The decision rested again specifically on the facts that were native to this token, right? So the big thing that we're looking at is the nature of decentralized versus centralized. And the nature of this token was that it was very, very centralized. This looked like a startup company. This looked like a common enterprise, which is legal jargon that the SEC uses time and again when trying to define a security. But while it's heartening that the SEC took an active interest in this and you know appeared to have knowledge of how this works, how cryptocurrency works, how the blockchain works, they may have made the right decision in this case because what you're looking at is promoters who issued the token and then maintain a great deal of control over the token. So it truly wasn't decentralized. It truly wasn't blockchain in the sense that we would come to know it. And in the sense that initially when the IRS and CFTC got together and came out and said that uh, cryptocurrency is in fact a commodity, not a security. And from my opinion, for whatever it's worth, if you had the choice, you would prefer it to be a commodity. The laws are rec less restrictive. The CFTC is less active. And there's an inherent risk factor that is imputed to commodities that isn't necessarily imputed to securities. And so finally, and I think this is the most important thing, is that the SEC is effectively taking a shot across the bow in a sense. It, it doesn't take a, an attorney or even a genius to understand that the ICO craze wasn't going to go on forever with no regulatory agency, whether it was the CFTC, the SEC, the IRS, whomever. It wasn't going to go on forever without some sort of regulation. And in this case, what that, that single decision imperils quite a number of people down the chain. Not only does it imperil Dow, it imperils the exchanges upon which it traded because they weren't registered as exchanges, and it actually imperils the individuals who were trading individually on those exchanges because again they were trading securities without an effective registration statement so there's a great great you know winding sort of road that this decision comes down on and it imperils a lot of different people but i think it's important to know that the sec wasn't you know undoubtedly going to let this ico craze go on forever and without any regulation so that's my thoughts um, i get quite a lot of calls and just wanted to uh sort of follow up and, you know, visit my site, bitcoin-lawyer.org. Be happy to answer any questions you have. Again, this is Adam Tracy, cryptocurrency attorney. I'll talk to you soon.